Jesus, I thank you for your body broken for us. So we remember you today. It's one of my favorite verses <laughs> that you said, remember me as often as you would. Wow, what freedom that is. How interesting. That's amazing. That we have a relationship with you instead of a an obligation to you. So you would ask us to remember. So what a what a wonderful privilege it is today. <coughs> Excuse me, that we could that we could uh, remember you. We could choose. It's easy to do. And it's easy not to do. Mm -hmm. So, Jesus, we choose to remember you and your sacrifice for us. How wonderful. So I thank you for your body broken. And we, we eat this bread in faith. And we say thank you for making a way where there was no way. And by your stripes, we are healed. We thank you for your blood poured out. Yes. We thank you for your obedience unto death on our behalf. So we drink this in agreement with what the Father declared is true. We say yes, that by the blood of Jesus, all of our sins have been removed as far as the east is from the west. And that you have... Uh, taken us from the kingdom of darkness and Satan into the kingdom of light, into the kingdom of your dear son. So we drink this in full faith, saying thank you. We believe Jesus is faithful in all of his house, that he will never leave us and he will never forsake us. And that we can, we can rejoice and experience your presence every minute of every day for the rest of eternity. Sounds good to me. The rest of eternity. That's awesome. Try that one on for size. Eternity is a long time. The old brain. Alright. Romans chapter 2, Paul's putting a slamming hammer down on everybody. He just got through telling the Gentiles that even though they didn't have the law like the Jews did, their conscience was became a law unto themselves. And they broke it anyway. <laughs> 2.17 But if thou art called a Jew and resteth in the law, and makest thy boast of God, and knowest his will, and approvest the things that are more excellent, being instructed out of the law, and art confident that thou thyself art a guide of the blind, and a light of them who are in darkness, <laughs> an instructor of the foolish, a teacher of babes, who hast the form of knowledge and of the truth in the law. Thou, therefore, who teachest another, teachest thou not thyself? Thou that preachest a man should not steal, dost thou steal? Thou that sayest a man should not commit adultery, dost thou commit adultery? Thou that abhorrest idols, dost thou commit sacrilege? Thou that makest thy boast of the law, through breaking the law, dishonorest thou God? For the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you. 
<laughs> As it is written, For circumcision verily profiteth if thou keep the law. But if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. Therefore, if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, talking about the Gentiles, Shall not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? And shall not uncircumcision, which is by nature, if it fulfill the law, judge thee, who by the letter and circumcision does transgress the law? For he is not a Jew who is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew who is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. So the first part of chapter 2, he slams the Gentile who says that I don't have a law to keep, so I'm not accountable to God. In the second half, he says to the prideful to the prideful Jew who says, I am the one who brought the oracles of God. We're the ones who had the law. We're the ones who have been teaching and instructing these miserable, wretched, unclean Gentiles. Um, you're aware that the Jews call the Gentiles unclean. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know what they were talking about? Sinners. Yeah, and they called them sinners. Do you know what they were talking about? They weren't circumcised? No. Nope. They didn't keep the law. They didn't keep the law. It wasn't that they were... Dirty. Dirty or... Deceased. It's just they didn't follow the rules. Oh, good for them. Okay. Woohoo! So, but at this time that was the only way to have a relationship with God on the legal level. But like Paul's saying here, the Gentiles knew the right thing to do, and, I, and some of them did it undoubtedly. I'm sure there was many millions of Gentiles who had a relationship with God. Without having the law. Without having the law. Mm -hmm. And they, they responded. God, Romans chapter 1, God revealed himself to them through the things that are made. And they went, oh, I knew there was a God. <laughs> I knew that I was not alone. I knew that there had to be more than this. And so they had a relationship with God. So he's saying here in verse 26, if the uncircumcision keeps the righteousness of the law, in other words, if somebody who didn't have the law fellowship with God in his heart, it, it, it counted just as much to being circumcised as those who were actually circumcised. And he said, circumcision is not on the outside. Cir true circumcision is on the inside. For he is not a Jew who is one outwardly. Neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew who is one inwardly. And circumcision is of the heart. In the spirit. Not in the letter whose praise is not of men, but of God. So that's pretty cool that he says, God is the one who's happy. God is the one who's happy with those who are circumcised, who are circumcised inwardly. He's saying it doesn't matter if, if the religious people are excited about it. Mm. Yeah. Whose praise is of God. Mm. So how wonderful. So Father, our, our desire is for you to uh, to you, for you to praise us because the circumcision of our hearts is inward and outward 
<laughs> What did you say? Some of us. Some of us. Uh-huh. All of us guys. So, how absolutely marvelous it is. Look at the gym. So, how marvelous it is that you have revealed yourself to us. And that you, it says here, your, that uh, our praise is not of men, it's of God. How delightful is that, that you would praise us. That uh, as our dad, uh, we are pleasing to you. Because we have chosen to circumcise our hearts. Uh, or at the very, that's probably not how it really is. <laughs> Excuse me. We just said yes when the Holy Spirit said you want to come with us? You want to be part of our family? You want to be in, you know, you want to be part of the Trinity? And we said, yeah, yeah, we do. So now we have praise of you because we decided to come with you. And then Paul even says, oh, even our faith is a gift of God. <laughs> it's not of works, lest any man should boast. So everything comes from you, Father. And how wonderful it is that we can take uh, this morning and set aside some time and just remember and get our brain adjusted properly, get our mindset oriented properly so that we can act decent today. We can tr treat one another with love and respect and honor. We can listen to you, Father, instead of listening to the devil Instead of listening to our flesh telling us all is lost, all is lost. No, it is not lost. We are your children and you love us. And you promised us you would never leave us and you'd never forsake us. And you promised that you would supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. You said that uh, we would be led beside the still waters. You know, as your sheep you would lead us into green pastures and we could rest beside the waters that you would prepare a table for us even in the presence of our enemies so we want to we want to orient our brain this morning fresh and new once again father we say yes and uh, like our friend Bertie Brits in his cool book we have been born from innocence you have declared that we are innocent before you. It's just like we never ever sinned. Like we never went away from you. The human race never was separated from you. You have made us perfectly innocent. And you see us righteous and whole. And that allows our heart to rejoice. That allows our mind to rest, to come to rest in your presence. And, and we have full confidence that you're going to do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. So, hallelujah. What a Savior. What a Father you really are to us. You're teaching us what a real Father is like. What a real Dad does. And so I want to learn how to be a real Dad. I want to learn how to be a real Father. Uh, and a real husband to my wife and my son and my daughters. I want to learn how to love unconditionally. I want to learn how to give without reservation, without, without constraint, <coughs> totally free. Freely receive and freely give. I want to learn your ways, Father. So I appreciate it. I thank you for all these who've gone before us. I thank you for Mr. Paul here. But he'd write this amazing, this amazing letter to Rome. <gasps> I'm sure they, they, when they sat around and they started reading this, they were thunderstruck. They were like, have you ever heard such a thing? This is revelation from heaven. 
So, I, Father, if if you if you have time, <laughs> just just tell Paul for us, and he might be listening. If he, if you've joined us uh, in our prayer meeting this morning through the portal in heaven, <laughs> if you've joined us this morning, we really appreciate you writing this letter to the to the uh, church at Rome. Well, we really appreciate it. It's got some amazing, amazing stuff in it. So, Father, we want to incorporate all that stuff today. Uh, and I guess this morning we read that we, the true Jew, is one who is circumcised in heart. So we thank you, Father, for circumcising our hearts. Whatever that means. Cutting away the hardness, the stone. He's given us a heart of flesh, a soft heart toward him that we're not doubters, we're not cynical, we're not full of pride and arrogance, demanding proof of God, and believe everything the devil says without question. I think that's what burns me up and frustrates and irritates me the most of everything on the planet. That the devil's crowd believes everything he says without proof, without any sort of verification, and they, they suck it down. And then anything God says, it has to be double, triple, quadruple proved in a court of law, and they still won't believe it. Right. Hmm? They, take what the, they take what the devil says by faith, but you know, they refuse to take what God says by faith. No matter what, they're not going to believe what... Somebody can be healed right in front of their eyes and they go, no, that didn't happen. Well, it's, they've been deceived. So that's, that's what frustrates me the most. So Blinded. I appreciate, Father, that you have circumcised our hearts and that we're like little children. You have renewed us. You have refreshed us. You have made us, you have restored our innocence. So we're just like a little kid. You tell a little kid something and they go, oh, okay. I don't know, but I don't enjoy being kind of skeptical at times. They're getting, they're getting older. But when they're young, when they're at a certain age, when you're a small child. That's a tiny window. But they've also started public school. The process has begun. So, Father, I thank you for keeping our hearts soft towards you. And that when we meet a person, when we meet a man or a woman, that loves Jesus and they tell us something, we just go, oh, thank you, Jesus. We don't say, who are you? Where did you go to school? Have you proved this? What does the bank say? What does the lawyer say? What does the doctor say? What, is, what does the government say? No. We just believe. We're like, we're like little children. We just believe you, Father. And we believe the Spirit of God. And when He says something, we say, yes, thank you. So I, I am forever grateful. Forever <clears throat> grateful. Forever full of gratitude, Father, that you took me from being a hard, cold, cynical, evil person. Well, I don't, I don't want to use that word. Man. And now I am easily entreated by the Spirit. I'm easily persuaded by people who love Jesus. People who say they know God. People who say they've heard from God. I believe them. Now maybe they're not. Maybe some of them have not. Maybe some of them are mistaken. And they thought they, thought they heard God. And they have been deceived. Well you're going to take I believe you're going to take care of that. And it's not my fault that they were deceived. You said that love believes all, hopes all, endures all. That that's the way to live. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to believe you. I'm going to, I'm going to believe what you said. And I'm not going to be afraid. And I'm not going to worry. And I just declare that over my wife. <laughs> and over my son. And over my daughters. That we are going to believe you, Father. We're not going to worry. I know we might, our brain might not know the next step. Our brain might not know the next, what's going to happen tomorrow. 
but you said not to worry about it. So, I thank you for giving us confidence. I thank you for renewing our hearts, and renewing our minds, and renewing our souls, so that we trust you. And we just do what you say. And we don't even think about it. We rejoice, we sing, we laugh, we tell jokes, and funny stories, and, and enjoy all the cool things that happen. You know, the cat will do something, or the dog will do something, or the, the fish will do something. Somebody will call us on the phone, we'll see something funny on the internet, we'll just, our hearts are at rest. We want to do your will, O oh God. So we say, kingdom of God come. Everybody, put your hands on, on your heart. Let's make a declaration. Father, we say, kingdom of God come. Of God and God. will of God be done in my life today in the name of Jesus. We just lay aside every weight and every sin that would try to beset us today. And we want to run the race with you. We want to follow you, Jesus. We want to come after you. We want to learn. We want to grow. We want to rejoice and sing and laugh. And then we want to share everything you tell us with everybody around us. We want to go into all the world, like Michelle said yesterday. We want to go into all the world and preach the gospel. Everywhere we go, doesn't matter where, we want to share God's love. The good news that He's already loved them. He's already taken care of them. He, it, the sin has already been taken care of. And, and the Father is saying, come home to Papa. <laughs> Stop running. Stop going after the devil and his lies. Come home to Papa. Come home to the, to the house. Come back to the house. There's food on the table. We've thrown you a giant party. All is well. No fear. No doubt. No worries. No condemnation. No guilt. No fear. Thank you, Father. So we want to do that today, Father. We want to be faithful in all of our uh, encounters today. That we have a, just this amazing excitement that uh, this presence, this heavenly atmosphere <coughs> excuse me, that flows out of our heart, that comes out of our eyes, it comes out of our, our face. That we can just ex we're, we're what was that? Like E. T. His little finger, you know, creepy. Would, would go out to the person and heal them. Uh, God's heart is to heal and to love and to save. There's no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who walk after the Spirit and not after the flesh. See, if you walk after the flesh, you're full of condemnation. <laughs> but if you walk after the Spirit, then your heart is free. My heart is free, Father, this morning. So I thank you for setting us free 2,000 years ago. And then every morning we can choose to be free or we can choose to be bound. So I'm saying I'm choosing freedom this morning. And I hope our YouTube friends, our men and, men and women who joined us, uh, if there's any out there, <laughs> that you're choosing freedom as well. Choose, choose life this morning. Choose to believe what God has said. That's my heart today, Father. I want to believe what you said. You said you love me. You said you'd never condemn me. You said you'd supply all of my needs. So we just declare that over our household this morning. We say, Father, give us this day our daily bread. Everything we need today, we just receive it from your hand. How exciting is that? But we don't have to be concerned about anything. So we're just, we're, 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 we're chin up, we're chest out, we're arms open, we're laughing, we're singing, we're experiencing heaven on earth. Your kingdom, whoosh, right through us, just whoosh. 
or experience in your kingdom, uh, every tongue that rises up against us, we shall condemn it because no weapon formed against us will prosper. You are on our side. No matter what the devil says, we're going to laugh. No matter what the circumstance presents, we're going to not fear. We're going to relax in your presence. So I just thank you for that. I just honor you. I just... I'm just so thankful that we don't have to figure this out ourselves. That we don't have to come up with some master plan of how to overcome the devil and how to how to function in this world. That you've given us the plan. Our, our job is to rejoice. Our job is to sing. Our job is to laugh. Our job is to think about all the good things. That's the plan. That's the whole plan. That's all we're supposed to do. And then you'll lead us. You'll guide us. You'll, you'll arrange all the circumstances in front of us. You've got these angels ministering to the heirs of salvation. You've sent them out by the quintillions. Who knows how many there are. And they're going before us. And they're arranging this, this amazing, incredible puzzle of this world. You're orchestrating all the believers and all of your children. You're, or, you're knitting and weaving all of their lives and their destinies together. For the good. You said that all things work together for the good. For those that love God, who are called according to His purpose. So, Father, we want to pray in the Holy Spirit today. <laughs> we want to pray in the Spirit and and activate all those good plans for us. I appreciate my wife. She prays a lot in the Holy Spirit. She prays all the time. She's activating your destinies for us. I think that's so wonderful, so awesome. So we want to we want to remember you today, Father. We don't want to forget. I know sometimes we forget. We just I don't know why. It, you, we just forget. And we listen to the devil. And he'll, he'll whisper something in our ears. Or, he'll, or it might be some massive explosion <laughs> in our physical world. Some terrible thing happens. And it distracts us. So Father, we just are determined that no matter what happens, we will remember you. And we will remember from whence we have come. And we will honor your spirit inside of us. And we'll say, oh, I'm sorry, Lord. <sighs> I forgot you there for just a little bit. But now I remember. <laughs> now I remember what you said. Now I remember who you are. Now I remember who I am. Now I'm going to be set free from this attack, this fear, this worry, this... And we'll just continue on with you. So I just thank you for that, Father. And I just declare that. I say, give us this day, Father, our daily bread. Everything we need today, everything we require, money, food, gravity, clothes, <laughs> air, sunshine, <laughs> Uh, DNA, everything we need, Father. We don't know what we need. We don't have a clue. We do not have the capacity to provide for ourselves. So we're going to stop worrying about it and start rejoicing about it. Start worshiping you in spirit and in truth and giving you praise for supplying our needs today. So I thank you for food. I thank you for shelter. I thank you for giving us houses and lands and manservants and maidservants and gold and silver and precious stones and, and uh, Federal Reserve notes and, and businesses and storehouses and uh, our vats will overflow with wine and that, that our, our uh, uh, provision that we uh, always have all sufficiency in everything and an abundance for every good deed that we
function according to the kingdom of God. So I thank you for doing that. I thank you for healing our bodies. I thank you that by Jesus' stripes we are healed. Teeth, you come into my head in Jesus' mighty name. Come into my wife in Jesus' name. New, new spinal uh, column for my wife. New digestive system. Everything restored in her body, except she doesn't want to have uh, any more babies. So maybe you can not restore her uh, ovaries. <clears throat> She says six is enough. Oh, come on. I'm going to enjoy a little sibling. <laughs> got a little sibling. <laughs> six is enough. So, it's like a cat. It doesn't like so, me. Father, <laughs> I am rejoicing, rejoicing, rejoicing in you today. And I ask you to give my son and I strength as we split this firewood some more. I guess we don't have to do all of it today. God saved it. <laughs> so, but we want, I want to be faithful to you today, Father. And I want to, I want to hear your voice larger and louder. And if, if you have things you want us to do today specifically, then I want to do them. And I want to hear what those are and then go do them. Or stay here and do them. Or if you want us to study today, or you want us to go on a hike, or a bike ride, or... You want us to go shopping or, you know, whatever. Whatever we're supposed to do. Uh, preach on the corner. Uh, go to the park and, and a witness to the people who ride. <laughs> Buy on the bikes. Or whatever. We want to go with you today, Father. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, Father, I want to... I want to ditto all those prayers for the our YouTube friends and this list of uh, wonderful people that you've given us to pray for. Um, I, it's such a blessing to my heart that I can uh, meet these people that are on this list. I'll see them every once in a while, here and there and everywhere. And then say to them, we pray for you every day. We call your uh, family name out. and." speak life and, and, it, and it encourages them and it blesses them. And I'm, I'm so thankful that we can do that uh, to give them such a gift uh, to pray for them. So uh, I would encourage all of uh, our YouTube friends to start making a list. Uh, make this list of families that you're going to hold up before the Father and you're going to call them born again and everyone healed and everyone delivered and set free and all the relationships restored and, and uh, just declare it before the Father every day and come into agreement with His Word that these families will all be saved and all be delivered and set free from every bondage and fear every oppression of the devil and uh, you'll be a blessing to them so we'll say we'll say goodbye uh, to our YouTube buddies and um, so that we can protect the privacy of the, of the actual names on this list um, just in case they wouldn't want us praying for them on the internet um, so all of you families out there uh, anyone listening to us uh, be well be whole be filled with the Spirit of God rejoice sing, dance, <laughs> spin around, enjoy the Holy Spirit, enjoy the Father today, enjoy Jesus today, and uh, have a wonderful day.